Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the products that I chose to put into my everyday makeup drawer for July. Yeah, July. It's a great way to really rediscover old favorites, to discover that maybe your tastes have changed over time. It's also a great way to try out new products and just generally rotate through your collection because if you're like me and a lot of others on YouTube in this beauty community, uh, you have a lot more than you need, so it's a problem, and this is how we solve it. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start. This is the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel London. I thought this would be perfect to try during this time of the year when I tend to get a little shiny through my T-zone. The Pixie Correction Concentrate. This is in Brightening Peach, and... I thought I would give my Tarte CC under eye corrector a break, so I cracked this one out again. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. <sighs> Always a mouthful. This is in the shade medium. I would disagree with the illumination claim. Uh, I have medium in their original formula as well, and honestly between the two I can't tell a difference, so I don't know about that. But in terms of coverage, this is great. I want to get more use out of this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is in the shade Ginger. I have used it a few times, but not enough to truly harness my complete thoughts. So that's why that's in here. I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder with collagen, silk, peptides, and antioxidants. <sighs> Again mouthful. I don't know why they do that, but I will show you very briefly because it is no longer pressed and I don't want to make it worse. So that's that. I have the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. This is in the shade Medium. And I just use this to set the rest of my face. The Bye Bye Pores I'll use um, solely under the eyes and along the sides of my nose. The NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, this is in Sunny, and this goes way, way, way back. Not this specific one, but this has been uh, talked about on YouTube for years, so there we go. I chose the Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush from Maybelline. This is in the shade Coral, and this powder is very, very soft, so use a very light hand when you go in because you can pick up a lot and you don't want this all over your cheeks because it is an illuminating blush it can accentuate pores so but it is beautiful the color it creates a beautiful flush and the sheen it gives it it's just beautiful it makes you look lifelike and three-dimensional <laughs> This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Haven't used this too much, so I want to try it out some more to really figure out what I think about it. The NYX Micro Brow, Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Black. Now, I have just a little bit left, so hopefully I'll be able to finish this and include it in my empties for this month but that's that and of course the other end has a spoolie there we go i would repurchase this however i would get it in a different shade i do have very dark brow hair but i feel like this no matter how little i apply no matter how much i brush it out it still looks too stark for my liking so i would probably go a shade down if i were to repurchase this to set my brows, the City Color Bold Brow Eyebrow Gel. I have to figure out a way to um, get less product because, I mean, this this wand is huge. This is a mascara wand. I mean, look at my brows, guys. It's crazy. So, yeah, I have to, I have to play around with this one. The Giordano 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Continuous Almond. I use this in my waterline. The NYX Très Jolie Gel Pencil Liner. This is in Pitch Black. I use that to tight line. 
I have the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. This is in Purple Shock, and this is fun if you want a pop of color, but you don't want that pop of color to be all over your lid. This is great, and that's what it looks like. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it does have a blue shift. It's so awesome. I love this thing. Now, eyeshadow, of course, the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I mean, come on guys, I had to include it and it's still new to me. So that's what she looks like. And of course I am using this today. I have Chaser to set the primer sauced all over the lid and into the crease. Sauced and ashes on my lower lash line. He Devil in the outer corner and Lumbre in or on the lid. <laughs> that's that. I've been loving this. And to switch things up and go for a more cool toned look, I decided to dust off the Pixie Shade Quartet in shades of taupe. And there's some swatches for you. And these really are just shades of taupe. I don't really know how to elaborate on that. So yeah, but this is awesome. Jessica Braun spoke about this years ago. I still love it, so I decided to bring it out and break out of my comfort zone because I am a warm neutrals girl at heart, but I actually do really love this. Lips, of course guys, another Revlon Kiss Balm. This is in Tropical Coconut. Smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like a pina colada. And the lip liner. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner. This is in the shade Berry Red. So I have a swatch right here. Just a blue toned red. Next to it, the Sonia Kashuk Velvety Matte Lip Crayon in Poppy Nude. This is perfect because I like to wear bolder, brighter colors, but I prefer them in a matte formula because I don't have to worry so much about them creeping outside my lip line or getting all over my teeth. So. I have the All May Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balm. This is in the shade Apricot Pucker. And you can barely see it there. It does give a wash of a color. Um, but I like these because they're just comfortable. The color will fade, the tackiness will fade, the shine will fade, but you will be left with a comfortable feeling lip. It feels like you put a lip balm on. So I love these and I think the name is perfect for them. It's very simple, one and done, just slap it on. <laughs> I have the Revlon HD lipstick. This is in sand. This is pretty popular right now, but that's what that looks like. And I thought this was perfect because if ever I need to go out and I want to look like I tried, but I didn't want to try too hard, like if I were wearing one of these, then this would be perfect to throw on. And lastly, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Supernatural. You probably cannot see because it is a very barely there color, but you could probably still see the sheen at least right here, all the way to the right. And yeah, those were my picks. These are going to be the products that I am focusing on aside from what's in my project pan which will be in a separate video i will be filming after this so you will probably see the same outfit maybe not if i get lazy i don't know the sun's going down but thank you guys so much for watching i know it was a quick video um if you liked it give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it also subscribe i'd love for you to stick around for more follow me on instagram as well at christina the peanut and let me know in the comments below what are some products that you guys are focusing on for this month as well i'd love to find out Thank you guys again so much for watching, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye! And, and hi, baby! Hi! Do you want to be in mommy's video? Come here. Come here, cutie. Hi! Oh, oh! Oh, you're stepping on the remote. Oh, no, not my face, please! Come here! Oh, Andy hates me, in case you couldn't tell. But he super hates me because I think I smothered him too much when he was a baby and he just remembers that and now he thinks I'm the devil. But he's my baby boo boo. And I love him so much. He's sticky, huh? Are you sticky? No, oh, I love you smell like bread. Oh, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, thank you. Thanks, boo boo.
okay, fine. Oh, oh, okay. Indy, relax. Indy, relax. Okay, okay. okay.